Paul Hannum grew up in Surrey, England, as an energetic youngster, a keen chess player and football fan. When he did his Masters in Ottawa, Canada, his sporting interests branched out further. He went on to have a big job in IT. In fact, he had it all. But then, aged nearly 40, one book, The Last Hours of Ancient Sunlight, given to him by author Tom Hartman, changed his life. He read it on a plane to Los Angeles. Reading The Last Hours of Ancient Sunlight was really one of the pivotal moments of my life. It was a book that really laid out exactly what Western civilization had done to the world. Up to that moment, I thought I'd been successful. You know, I, I ran a, a large business which I set up. I employed, you know, several hundred people. Everything was going great. But after reading that book, I realized that the very things I thought had made me successful were actually extremely bad for the planet. What had been good for my bank balance was bad for nature. What had been good for my ego was actually very bad for my soul and my deeper self. And after reading the book, I decided to completely change my life. Tom and him became friends. He immediately stopped working in the IT industry, devoting himself to environmental causes instead. It has left him more resolute than ever to do what he can to prevent climate breakdown and ecological collapse. Paul has decades of experience in organisational psychology, leadership and personal development. He's an academic who's taught at Oxford University and has published four books, including a Sunday Times bestseller. The most recent, Significance, is about refocusing your life on what matters most. He's motivated by demonstrating the positive relationship between our physical, mental and spiritual well-being and a healthy ecosystem, believing that we can only flourish if nature flourishes. He met environmentalist and Sussex Wildlife Trust president Dr Tony Whitbread in the local Greening Stenning Group and the more they talked, the more they knew they had to keep talking. The concept of interactive talks emerged to promote the vision for improving lives and our environment by following your better nature.